Hey everyone, my name is Choctopus, and I'm here to remind you that Laundry Day is a very dangerous day. And also to present none other than the wacky wallaby himself, Rocco, who's back with a familiar yet modern design in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. Rocco typically tends to strive for a mostly peaceful existence alongside his companion, Spunky. Packing whatever tools, knickknacks, and valuables he can find before being rushed out the door, Rocco is ready for action as a scrappy little brawler with plenty of surprises. Since we've already introduced him, let's talk about Spunky, who can be called out with Rocco's neutral special to chase after his opponents. As long as Spunky's on the ground, he'll run in a straight line until he gets close enough to pounce on his target. If he misses his mark or gets called in the wrong direction, fear not! Pressing the special button again or giving him a little encouragement with one of Rocco's attacks will turn him around on command. Spunky won't lunge after opponents if he's in the air, but he can be picked up and thrown to hit them. With all the help that Spunky provides, be sure to take good care of him. If he gets hit or thrown by an opponent, he'll get a bit dizzy before eventually returning to Rocco. If you'd like to introduce a little bit of chaos into the fray, Rocco can pull out a jackhammer with his down special. The jackhammer will knock opponents around as it travels in random directions, but if you need some consistency, the slime version of this move will stay traveling forwards. And as an added bonus, if Spunky gets close enough to the jackhammer, he'll throw on his hard hat, get to work, and cause it to move even faster. Next up, Rocco's side special is the most helporific household device on Earth, the Succomatic. When activated, Rocco will ride the Succomatic into battle, pulling in and throwing out any enemies, or dogs, that happen to be in its way. While it won't do your taxes or cook for you, it can be used to get back to stage if you get knocked away. The slime version of this move is slower, but a bit stronger, and its enhanced sucking strength can even pull enemies in from a distance. Finally, Rocco's up special, the Conglomo Rocket, shoots high into the sky before adjusting its trajectory back into the ground. This move allows Rocco to go deep off stage while he bonks opponents over the head with his light down air. In case you thought you were done, Rocco still has a few more surprises to offer besides his special attacks. Passed down for generations, his grounded, charged up attack is his family's trusty pogo stick. This move can be used to meet opponents way high up in the air as a finisher or to continue combos with the slime cancel. Though more simply, you could also just fall onto your opponent's heads and send them flying. His aerial charge down attack drops a bowling ball on enemies' heads, which definitely makes it a great move for hitting enemies that are hanging out way down under. That's an Australia joke for you. As a stubby little wallaby, Rocco definitely has some short range compared to other fighters, but once you find an opening, possibly by clever use of Spunky and his jackhammer, Rocco can certainly spring into action with an altogether strong combo game and versatile toolset. If you like the look of what Rocco has to offer, then try him out in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned as we wrap up our character spotlights.